Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. I am Triveni Suresh Babu, the Senior Trainer of Skills Health Consulting. Today, I am going to discuss about Karnataka State Board Class 6 Social Science History Lesson Number 7, Rise of New Religions. Under this lesson, we are going to learn about Jainism. Let us learn about the life of Mahavira, the founder of Jainism. Mahavira is the 24th Tirthankara and preached Jainism. He was born about 2500 years ago at Kundagrama near Vaishali. His earlier name was Vardhamana. Vardhamana's father was Siddhartha, a rich Kshatriya, means Raja, and the head of the Kundagrama. He was a ruler of a small kingdom. Vardhamana's mother was Trishala Devi. Vardhamana left his home in search of enlightenment. Like Buddha, Vardhamana also, he left his home in his early age to search about the or to get the, attain the enlightenment. He spent some time as a Digambara Muni. Digambara means a person who is not wearing any cloth. Digambara Anthethare. Later he spent 12 years in penance and became a Jina. He spent almost 12 years in hard penance. Katina Tapasamadi, he became a Jina. Jina means one who has conquered attachment. One who has conquered attachment and the moha vanna tejisidho. Indriya nigra amadho. But to be away from the world. Nivene tosidro attract agde erodho. So he was, he wanted detachment from the worldly life. His followers are called as Jains. Who followed him, they came to be called as Jains. Mahavira's followers were called as Jains. Mahavira preached to people from all classes. He did not differentiate or made any differences. He preached all the people, common people also. He left his body at Pavapuri in present Bihar. That means he died at a small place called Pavapuri in present Bihar state. Now let us learn about Mahavira's teachings. Vardhamana Mahavira taught non-violence to his disciple. Ahimsa Marga. So, Jeevandali, you himsa margavanna acharane maadbedi, away from the violence. He wanted them not to commit theft and amassing wealth. Kallatana maadbedi, don't steal, don't indulge yourself in theft and go on accumulating the wealth. Nimge, yeshtube kosht matra sangraha maadi, anana, sumne so don't amass the wealth it will become it will lead you to dissatisfaction or you will be attached to worldly life durase barate he preached celibacy celibacy means bachelorhood anta jainism has given more prominence to non violent than any other religion in the world jainism is famous for the teaching of non violence ahimsa margavanna he, he gave more important stress for non-violence. Mahavira's teachings are in the continuation or the continuation of 23rd Tirthankara Parshvanatha. He continued the 23rd Tirthankara Parshvanatha's teachings were continued by him. Later, two sects named Digambara and Shvetambara emerged in Jainism. Digambara and Shvetambara were So, Jainism was divided into two groups, Digambara and Shvetambara. So, Digambaras, they were not wearing cloth. This means they wanted to be detached from the worldly life. Even Batteno Darsparadu, Vastragalannu Darsparadu, Nanta Vandu, High Level, Idakke Hogadavaru. And Shvetambara means they were wearing white cloths. Even today, if you go around Shravana Bedagoda, you will come across Digambaras and Shvetambaras. You will find the people who are Digambaras and also wearing white cloth. The followers of Parshvanatha who used to wear white cloth became Shvetambara. See, I told you, people who are followers who were wearing white cloth came to be called as Shvetambaras. Ambara means Vastra. Shveta means Bili. Bili Vastra Dharigalu. The followers of Mahavira who used to wear no clothes became Digambara. But Tene Akte Doro or Digambara Runta. Digambara means without cloth. So the Jainism was divided into two groups, Digambara Center, Shvetambara. Shravana Bedagoda of Karnataka is the famous Jain religious center. So, I think if you get an opportunity, please visit this place, Shravana Bedagoda, the religious place of the Jain. See now, 
Let us know about the moral principles in the Jainism. They are Ahimsa. Ahimsa, Kannadalo Ahimsa in the non-violence. He gave importance for non-violence. Satya, he told the people, he preached the people always to follow the path of truth. Satya Margavana. Asteya means non-stealing. Kallatana Marde Rodu. Aparigraha, non-possession beyond the need. Aparigraha means not to accumulate the wealth or amass the wealth. Whatever you need, you have only that much. So, yeshtubeko nimi ashtanna matra nimo sangraha maadhi. Don't amass wealth more than needed. Brahmacharya, keeping senses under control, celibacy. Brahmacharya vanna palane maadhavadu. Away from the worldly life. Atwa indriya nigraha maadhavadu. Ahimsa, satya, asteya, aparigraha and brahmacharya were the five moral principles of the Jainism. Mahajanapadas and Republics. We will learn about Mahajanapadas and Republics. Mahajanapadas means, let us go back to 2500 years in time. That was the time when Buddha lived. So, we have already learned that Buddha lived about 2500 years ago. There were 16 kingdoms, big and small, in the Sindhu Ganga plain. On the bank of the river Sindhu and Ganga, there were more than 16 kingdoms. There were big kingdoms and all, also small kingdoms. These kingdoms are called Mahajanapadas. Among them, Magadha, Kosala, Vatsa were famous kingdoms. Mahajanapadas. They were kingdoms were called by the name Mahajanapadas. They were ruled by the kings. The kingdoms which were ruled by the kings came to be called as Mahajanapadas. Among those kingdoms, Magadha, Kosala, and Vatsa were very famous. Now, republics. In the same period, many states had representative government. Republics means Ganatantra, Ganarajya, we learn in civics. So, the kingdoms where we will have the representation of the people, they were called as republics. The most important among the republics was Vajji or Vrijji in Tanamintare. It was a union of many republics. Vaishali city of Bihar was its capital. So, many republics were united together and Vaishali was the capital city of this union of republics. Vajji had a Sabha consisting of elder and younger members taking care of the administration. This world we have come across during the Vedic period. Sabha Samiti, there were two committees, political committees in the same way Vajjinali, there was Sabha, there were both younger and elder people to advise the king in the matter of administration. Members of the Sabha were addressed Raja. Members elder Nuve, they were called by the name Raja. All matters related to the union were discussed at the Sabha meetings. So, meetings were held often and political matters were or many problems related to the union or the state uh, were discussed in this sabha. Let us learn about some of the new words. Renunciation means leaving away all the worldly aspiration. Andre worldly prapanchika sukagalinda dura irudu. Ayla asegalana bidadu. Digambara means one who wears no clothes. Vastrana dharane marde raro. Nirvana means liber liberation, mukti. From the cycle of birth and death. See, our cycle, our uh, life is a circle of, it rotates from the birth to death. Rotation from birth to death. So we come across all the incidents in our life, in the cycle of our life. Two incidents take place, that is birth and death. So, we have to get liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Nirvana. Nirvana and Mukti Margavana to attain the moksha. Let us know about some information. Due to the impact of Jainism and Buddhism, animal sacrifice came to an end and vegetarianism began to spread. Very great change took place in the society. So, impact means influence of Jainism and Buddhism. Animal sacrifice was stopped. Many people stopped eating the meat and all. 
they were converted into vegetarians this is one big change that took place due to the influence of the buddhism and jainism buddhism has two main sects called hinayana and mahayana buddhism alli eradu pangada ide two groups or two sects they are called hinayana and mahayana i hope you have understood the lesson thanks for watching the video watch share and subscribe for our channel soon i will be back with the other lesson